Types of cheese are grouped or classified according to criteria such as length of fermentating, texture, methods of making, fat content, animal milk, country or region of origin, etc. The method most commonly and traditionally used is based on moisture content, which is then further narrowed down by fat content and curing or ripening methods. The criteria may either be used singly or in combination, with no single method being universally used. The combination of types produces around 50 different varieties recognized by the International Dairy Federation, over 400 identified by Walter and Hargrove, over 500 by Burkhalter, and over 1,000 by Sandine and Elliker. Some attempts have been made to rationalize the classification of cheese. A scheme was proposed by Peter Wallstra that uses the primary and secondary starter combined with moisture content, and Walter and Hargrove suggested classifying by production methods. This last scheme results in 18 types, which are then further grouped by moisture content. Topic: <laughs> Fresh, whey, and stretched curd cheeses. The main factor in categorizing these cheeses is age. Fresh cheeses without additional preservatives can spoil in a matter of days. For these simplest cheeses, milk is curdled and drained, with little other processing. Examples include cottage cheese, cream cheese, curd cheese, farmer cheese, sauce, china, fromage blanc, queso fresco, paneer, and fresh goat's milk chevre. Such cheeses are soft and spreadable, with a mild flavor. Whey cheeses are fresh cheeses made from whey, a byproduct from the process of producing other cheeses which would otherwise be discarded. Corsican braccio, Italian ricotta, Romanian erda, Greek mazithra, Cypriot anari cheese, Himalayan chirpi and Norwegian brunost are examples. Braccio is mostly eaten fresh, and is as such a major ingredient in Corsican cuisine, but it can also be found in an aged form. Some fresh cheeses such as fromage blanc and fromage fraise are commonly sold and consumed as desserts. Topic: <inaudible> Stretched curd cheeses. Traditional pasta filata cheeses such as mozzarella also fall into the fresh cheese category. Fresh curds are stretched and kneaded in hot water to form a ball of mozzarella, which in southern Italy is usually eaten within a few hours of being made. Stored in brine, it can easily be shipped, and it is known worldwide for its use on pizza. <inaudible> <inaudible> Moisture, soft to hard Categorizing cheeses by moisture content or firmness is a common but inexact practice. The lines between soft, semi-soft, semi-hard and hard are arbitrary, and many types of cheese are made in softer or firmer variants. The factor that controls cheese hardness is moisture content, which depends on the pressure with which it is packed into molds, and upon aging time. Soft cheese. Cream cheeses are not matured. Brie and Neufchâtel are soft type cheeses that mature for more than a month. Neufchâtel is a soft cheese which can be sold after 10 days of maturation. Topic: <inaudible> Semi-soft cheese. Semi-soft cheeses and the subgroup Monastery cheeses have a high moisture content and tend to be mild tasting. Well-known varieties include Havarti, Munster, and Port Salut. Topic: <inaudible> Medium hard cheese. Cheeses that range in texture from semi-soft to firm include Swiss-style cheeses such as Emmental and Gruyere. The same bacteria that give such cheeses their eyes also contribute to their aromatic and sharp flavors. Other semi-soft to firm cheeses include Gouda, Edam, Jarlsberg, Cantal, and Kashkaval, Kaskaval. Cheeses of this type are ideal for melting and are often served on toast for quick snacks or simple meals. <laughs> Semi-hard or hard cheese Harder cheeses have a lower moisture content than softer cheeses. They are generally packed into molds under more pressure and aged for a longer time than the soft cheeses. 
Cheeses that are classified as semi-hard to hard include the familiar cheddar, originating in the village of Cheddar in England but now used as a generic term for this style of cheese, of which varieties are imitated worldwide and are marketed by strength or the length of time they have been aged. Cheddar is one of a family of semi-hard or hard cheeses including Cheshire and Gloucester, whose curd is cut, gently heated, piled, and stirred before being pressed into forms. Colby and Monterey Jack are similar but milder cheeses, their curd is rinsed before it is pressed, washing away some acidity and calcium. A similar curd washing takes place when making the Dutch cheeses Edam and Gouda. Hard cheeses—grating cheeses such as Grana Padano, Parmesan or Pecorino—are quite firmly packed into large forms and aged for months or years. Source of milk. Some cheeses are categorized by the source of the milk used to produce them or by the added fat content of the milk from which they are produced. While most of the world's commercially available cheese is made from cow's milk, many parts of the world also produce cheese from goats and sheep. Examples include Roquefort produced in France and Pecorino produced in Italy from ewe's milk. One farm in Sweden also produces cheese from moose's milk. Sometimes cheeses marketed under the same name are made from milk of different animal Feta cheeses, for example, are made from sheep's milk in Greece and from cow's milk elsewhere. Double cream cheeses are soft cheeses of cow's milk enriched with cream so that their fat in dry matter (FDM or FIDM) content is 60 to 75%. Triple cream cheeses are enriched to at least 75%. Topic: Mold There are three main categories of cheese in which the presence of mold is an important feature, soft ripened cheeses, washed rind cheeses and blue cheeses. <laughs> soft ripened Soft ripened cheeses begin firm and rather chalky in texture, but are aged from the exterior inwards by exposing them to mold. The mold may be a velvety bloom of pea camembert tea that forms a flexible white crust and contributes to the smooth, runny, or gooey textures and more intense flavors of these aged cheeses. Brie and camembert, the most famous of these cheeses, are made by allowing white mold to grow on the outside of a soft cheese for a few days or weeks. Goat's milk cheeses are often treated in a similar manner, sometimes with white molds and sometimes with blue. Topic: Washed rind. Washed rind cheeses are soft in character and ripen inwards like those with white molds. However, they are treated differently. Washed rind cheeses are periodically cured in a solution of saltwater brine or mold-bearing agents that may include beer, wine, brandy, and spices, making their surfaces amenable to a class of bacteria, Brevibacterium linens, the reddish-orange smear bacteria that impart pungent odors and distinctive flavors and produce a firm, flavorful rind around the cheese. Washed rind cheeses can be soft, Limburger, semi-hard, or hard, Appenzeller. The same bacteria can also have some impact on cheeses that are simply ripened in humid conditions, like camembert. The process requires regular washings, particularly in the early stages of production, making it quite labor-intensive compared to other methods of cheese production. Smear <inaudible> ripened <inaudible> 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 Some washed rind cheeses are also smear ripened with solutions of bacteria or fungi, most commonly Brevibacterium linens, Dibariomyces hansoni, or Geotrichum candidum, which usually gives them a stronger flavor as the cheese matures. In some cases, older cheeses are smeared on young cheeses to transfer the microorganisms. Many, but not all, of these cheeses have a distinctive pinkish or orange coloring of the exterior. Unlike with other washed rind cheeses, the washing is done to ensure uniform growth of desired bacteria or fungi and to prevent the growth of undesired molds. Examples of smear ripened cheeses include Munster and Port Salut. <laughs> <laughs> blue So called blue cheese is created by inoculating a cheese with Penicillium roqueforta or Penicillium glaucum. 
This is done while the cheese is still in the form of loosely pressed curds, and may be further enhanced by piercing a ripening block of cheese with skewers in an atmosphere in which the mold is prevalent. The mold grows within the cheese as it ages. These cheeses have distinct blue veins, which gives them their name and, often, assertive flavors. The molds range from pale green to dark blue, and may be accompanied by white and crusty brown molds. Their texture can be soft or firm. Some of the most renowned cheeses are of this type, each with its own distinctive color, flavor, texture and aroma. They include Roquefort, Gorgonzola and Stilton. Brined Brined or pickled cheese is matured in a solution of brine in an airtight or semi-permeable container. This process gives the cheese good stability, inhibiting bacterial growth even in hot countries. Brined cheeses may be soft or hard, varying in moisture content, and in color and flavor, according to the type of milk used, though all will be rindless, and generally taste clean, salty and acidic when fresh, developing some piquancy when aged, and most will be white. Varieties of brined cheese include brinza, feta, halloumi, seren, and telamia. Brined cheese is the main type of cheese produced and eaten in the Middle East and Mediterranean areas. Processed Processed cheese is made from traditional cheese and emulsifying salts, often with the addition of milk, more salt, preservatives, and food coloring. Its texture is consistent, and melts smoothly. It is sold packaged and either pre-sliced or unsliced, in several varieties. Some are sold as sausage-like logs and chipolatas mostly in Germany and USA, and some are molded into the shape of animals and objects. It is also available as ''Easy Cheese'', a product distributed by Mondela's International, that is packaged in aerosol cans and available in some countries. Some, if not most, varieties of processed cheese are made using a combination of real cheese waste which is steam cleaned, boiled and further processed whey powders, and various mixtures of vegetable, palm oils or fats. Some processed cheese slices contain as little as 2–6% cheese, some have smoke flavors added. <laughs> 